page 10 now we are going to learn how to sketch cubic function right firstly as usual we need to know basic shape of the cubic function so there are two actually basic shape the first one is maximum minimum so looks like s okay from here so maximum minimum okay when a is positive and the second one okay looks like s as well okay so from here starting draw from here so minimum and then maximum okay when a is negative right move on to our first question y equals to a x cube plus c okay since a is positive basic shape of the graph is maximum minimum okay so from here maximum minimum then c is our y intercept okay and then to sketch remember must be on x and y axis so here is our graph so draw x axis y axis okay so starting from down here so maximum and then minimum okay looks like this okay and c is our y intercept okay done next domain and range so df equals to from negative infinity to infinity again the graph does not stop here it does not stop here getting longer and longer so from negative infinity to infinity or r if you remember okay so read from x axis okay to find domain from left to right you already know right okay then r range okay rf again same read y axis from bottom to top okay so we got the same answer as domain okay next question y equals to negative a x cube plus c okay first since a is negative basic shape of the graph is minimum maximum so from here top here okay go down minimum and then maximum so this is the basic shape and again c is our y intercept and then again just a reminder a sketch on x and y axis so here is our graph okay x axis y axis so draw starting from the top okay go down minimum and then maximum okay so c is our y intercept right so domain if you want to write in integral notation so again same x exists so here's the answer df equals to open negative infinity comma infinity and then range also as well same okay y exists so from bottom to top so negative infinity to infinity okay always the graph getting longer and longer that's why from negative infinity to infinity okay so this is a remark for you if you find the roots for cubic equation it will be much more helpful to sketch the correct graph so you can see here here actually roots so if you find by using calculator okay so it will be much helpful to sketch the correct graph same like here as well okay we jump to question 13 okay for sketching cubic function and find its domain and range okay first fx equals to 2x cubed plus 1 okay so again we need to know the basic shape first so since a is positive so a is 2 here okay a is actually coefficient of x cubed so 2 is positive a is positive then the basic shape is maximum minimum maximum minimum from here okay right second one y intercept is positive y okay then thirdly we find roots and we will get x equals to negative 0 0.794 so just uh, use your calculator and calculate it to find roots you get this and another two roots you will see you get complex roots I mean you have i there i okay alphabet i there means not real roots means no value on the graph okay so only this one root actually got three but one is real root two is complex root so complex root we cannot write on the graph okay so that's why here is the graph
graph okay so only negative 0 0.0.794 puts uh written here okay so the graph of the basic shape so maximum draw from down here so maximum and then minimum okay and one is our y intercepts right so for domain the f equals to from negative infinity to infinity so it makes exist okay and then range as well from negative infinity to infinity because the graph getting longer and longer so read y axis so all value on y axis included this one from negative infinity to infinity for sec second question question h try yourself